So they want you to come on their side. They want you to believe in their ideas of what you think of yourself. They doubt you and you believe what they doubt. Instead of you waking up from your slumber. Instead of you waking up from this nightmare of despair. And letting your opportunities come to life. It's going to be a tough time, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be rough. It's going to be some tough times and tough days ahead for you. But that doesn't mean your ideas are going to die. That doesn't mean that you stop. It doesn't mean you stop believing in yourself. You just got to keep on working. When you got people looking at you from the left side and the right side, from the front to the back, and you in the middle, <laughs> just remember, everybody's watching. Just give them something to see. Let them see it. Are you watching me? <laughs> Watch this. Or you want to stop me? You can't stop this. That's the mentality that you must have in yourself. Don't you dare give up now. It's okay. Yeah, it hurt a little bit. <laughs> but I can feel it. I know what that pain feels like. And I know how to keep marching. And I know how to keep moving. And I know how to get productive in my life. Can't stop what you didn't create. You can hate it, but you can't dominate. Because it belongs to me. It's time. It's time for you to level up. It's time for you to get out of your routines and start making it a reality and do something unique and different. Struggle a little bit. Hurt a little bit. Sacrifice and dedicate yourself. Because there's no other way. The time is right now to make a difference to be better than you was yesterday. Now you may not believe this, but you got to do more than less. You got to give a little bit more than less. Whether it's on your job, with your family, with the workplace, whatever it is that you're doing in the fitness realm, your nutrition, whatever it is that's holding you back, you got to take it to the next level. You got to stop being complacent. You always looking for the easy way out. There is no easy. How can you be successful in life if it's easy? Why do you feel that easy is the best way to get to the level you want? How do you think a champion becomes a champion? A champion doesn't get it the easy way. A champion is a champion for a reason. And I'm not saying you got to get in the ring and knock somebody out, but you definitely got to knock out those excuses. You got to knuckle up and you got to buckle up and you got to be about your business. Why are you constantly, constantly making excuses? Do you really believe that excuses is going to save you? Do you understand what it means that you have to get to a level that you have never been in your life? Do you really have the mental fortitude to level up? This is the time right now for you to recognize the truth about who you really are inside. Now it's true that everybody doesn't have what you have. Everybody doesn't want what you want. But the question is, are you prepared to get what it is that you want? Are you prepared to make the sacrifices? Do you understand what that really means? Or are you gonna just be complacent? And this is the time for you to recognize the truth. This is the time for you to wake up and realize that there's something that you need to be doing. But you don't need to be doing excuses. You don't need to be so complacent and lazy about what it is that you are constantly going through in your life and giving your life less than giving your life more. Why do you socialize yourself with excuses? Why do you socialize yourself with misery? Why do you socialize yourself with being complacent? What are you afraid of? Oh, I get it. You're afraid to fail. You're afraid to go back. No one said you had to go back. All you got to do is keep pushing forward. You may fall a few times. You may slip a few times. But that doesn't mean you quit. That doesn't mean you give up. 
That means you must find a way and you must make a way and you got to continue to dig deeper than you've ever digged in your life. Enough is enough. Enough with the excuses. Enough with being complacent. Enough for giving up. This is the time to recognize your purpose. This is the time for you to recognize your truth and make the most of your life. And if you're not willing to do that, then nothing's going to happen for you. Nothing is going to give you that true opportunity to be the best of yourself. This is not a game, ladies and gentlemen. This is a reality check. Ask yourself, how far have you gone? How much have you given of yourself? Why do you wake up every morning with the same excuse? Why do you wake up every morning saying the same thing over and over again? Why do you feel you need that cup of coffee to start your day? Why do you feel you need to depend on your alarm clock to get up? When all you gotta do is just get up. All you gotta do is recognize exactly what it is that you need to do in your life. Now this is the time you need to make up. This is the time you need to realize. This is the time you need to do the best that you can and give 110% of everything you got. Are you gonna be the easy person? Are you gonna be the person that likes to go the easy way? Or are you gonna go through the hurt, the pain, the blood, the sweat, and the tears to get exactly this what you need? No one can get anywhere in life without hard work. And if you're not dedicating yourself, if you're not making the necessary sacrifices, then how can you get to that level that you wanna be? Do you really understand what that means? Oh, I get it. You need your cup of coffee to start your day. You need your alarm clock to wake you up. When you take a breath, that is your alarm clock. You need energy, breathe a little bit more and then go to work. You need to level up and you need to go up. You need to stop being complacent. You need to stop making excuses. You need to stop thinking that you don't have what it takes when you know deep inside you could go that far if you truly believe in yourself. Do you realize how many times you've said over and over again that you'll do it tomorrow, you'll wait till the next day, you got time, you don't have time. You wanna be the best? Do you know what it means to be the best? Then you have to continue work on your craft. You have to constantly work on your craft. You can't just stay complacent. You can't be comfortable. You got to get uncomfortable. And you got to go after it. Going after it every single day of your life is so important right now. Setting yourself back because you're afraid, because you don't understand. There's a lot of things that none of us understand, but that doesn't mean you stop. Sometimes you got to learn as you go. You got to make the sacrifices every single day of your life. Stop depending on other people. Stop depending on your excuses. Stop setting yourself back instead of setting yourself up and leveling up and getting to where you got to go in your life. This is the time, ladies and gentlemen, to stand strong and believe in yourself each and every day of your life. We only have so much time and every day is a beautiful day. Whether you struggle with it, whether it's a sunny day, whether it's a rainy day, but you're still alive and you got work to do. So don't waste your time making excuses. Don't waste your time being afraid. Don't waste your time being stuck in a rut. Get outside that bubble and start becoming a reality. Start becoming more than what you think you are. In fact, stop thinking about it and start being about it. And live your life. Level up. Live. Breathe. Work. Be productive. And from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business. Do you understand what it means just to be alive and to make every day count? To make every opportunity that you have been given count. Life 
is short. And as I always tell you, you don't have much time. So that means you got to make every possibility, every breath that you take count. You got to just keep living your life. There are going to be times that you're going to just struggle and you're going to be tired and you're going to be weary and you're going to want to quit and you ain't going to have nothing left. But you still got to carry on. Live your life, ladies and gentlemen. Be excited about life. Regardless of the struggles, regardless of the circumstances, get excited about being above ground and not under it. Walk with your head up high and live your life and trust in everything that you do. If you're concerning yourself about mistakes, if you're concerning yourself about the past, leave the past alone. It ain't got nothing to do with you anymore. Your time is the now time. Being able to move forward and make the most of this beautiful thing that we call life. Some people just don't get that. Some people don't want it. They got excuse after excuse. They feeling sorry. Seems like every time you turn on the television, every time you look at social media, there's something negative going on. It almost seems like people feed more off of drama than life itself, excitement opportunity goodness the goodness in people and you yourself why do you hold on to things that you cannot do anything about if it's not meant to be fixed leave it alone and start doing the best that you can to be the best makeup of who you are as a person it's time for you to start moving on with your life today is today but tomorrow is a new day, and we don't know exactly what tomorrow is going to bring. But let's just hope that we are all in it together. Making the possibilities a reality, people. Look around you today. Look at what's going on in our world. Look at what the society that we're living in. Look at what we have become as a people. We're stressed out. We're worried. We have no sense of opportunity or light around us because we're too focusing on the things that we can't do anything about. But what can we do about ourselves? What can we change within us? We're being distracted. We're being misled. We are afraid. We're letting things control us instead of us taking control of our own lives and being strong each and every day of our lives. I made it this far for a reason. You made it this far for a reason. Now it's up to you to make a difference. Now it's up to you to keep moving on. Stop putting yourself in a box. Stop stressing so much. Stop worrying so much. And take the life that is in your hands and make it count. Ladies and gentlemen, I promise you, if you do not hold on to the goodness within you, then all the bad things that are surrounding you right now will ultimately destroy your possibilities and taking yourself further in your life. Make this day count. Don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about yesterday. Make this day count. Put all your energy into what you do today. Put all your power into what you do today. Keep it moving. Be productive. Be powerful. And from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business. I can't. I cannot. I can't, I'll try, I'll try, I tried, how does that sound, listen to that, I can't, I tried, I'll try, 
This is not the time to be embracing any of that. The word can't should not exist in your vocabulary. And try, why even bother? If you're not gonna do everything that is necessary to get where you wanna be in your life, why even bother? Sounds harsh, doesn't it? Makes you wonder why am I saying exactly what I just said? Because the time is now for you to recognize that there is no time to be feeling pity about your discussions and what it is that you have inside yourself. You have got to have a different type of conversation within yourself and stop doing the word can't and stop doing the word try. Now let's talk about can't. The word can't. What has it done for so many people? And what has it done for you? Has Kent elevated you? Has Kent put you in a better place in your life? Has Kent made you feel stronger? Has Kent made something resonate inside of you to give you the ability to carry on? Or if Kent, has it put you in a position to where you're just standing still and you're waiting for something? Maybe you're waiting for a handout. Maybe you're waiting for a pat on your back. Maybe you're waiting for someone to hold your hand. Can't. What is it doing for you now? Can't is not something that you need to be holding on to. Can't doesn't do anything for me. And it shouldn't do anything for you. What it is that you are seeking in your life and what it is that you are going for in your life can't, cannot be attached to it. It takes more. It takes much more than the word can't. It is a word that should never exist in your life. Whatever mistakes that you are making, whatever failures that you have faced, embrace it and carry on. Because the word can't it ain't gonna care nothing about you anyway. It doesn't love you. It doesn't care about you. And when you have the word can't in your mind, excuses will follow. So how do you carry on? What is it that you need to do? And how far are you willing to take it? Now let's talk about try. Trying seems to be the new thing. Well, I wouldn't even say that it's the new thing. It seemed like it's the everyday thing for so many people. Well, I tried. I couldn't put down that chocolate piece of cake. I couldn't put that piece of cake down. I tried. I couldn't get up in the morning. I'm not a morning person. I tried to get up, but I couldn't get up. I tried. I tried to be nice, but I couldn't be nice. I tried. Everything you did is try, but you didn't even give yourself the satisfaction and do it. Why not just do it? Why are you trying everything? That's supposed to make you feel better? Because you tried? You really think that people want to hear your excuse? You really think that that's what it is that's going to help you to be better because you tried? Stop trying and start doing. Do it regardless of the circumstances, regardless of the rejections, regardless how people look at you. In fact, stop letting people dictate you. Stop looking at people as though they're going to rescue you because everything you're doing, all you attach it to it is the word try. And you're looking for somebody to say, hey, that's okay. At least you tried. No, stop trying. You don't get a pass. You don't get a pass from trying. What, you afraid you're gonna mess up? You afraid you're gonna fall down? You afraid that it's gonna be over? Because it didn't go the way you wanted it to go? Because it didn't happen the way you wanted it to happen? So can't and try should not have anything to do with your life. So if you've been that person, whether it's today, whether it was yesterday, or even if you're looking into the future, how can you even have a future if can't is a part of it? 
How can you have a future if all you do is try? I want to have a great future. If the future is promised to me, I am going to have a magnificent future. That's how you should be thinking. That's how you should be doing. Not giving in to can't and try. Because then it becomes a maybe. Then doubt. Then fear. Then everything else follows behind it. And none of these things makes you better. So you have got to step up to the plate and you got to get to work and do business because that's what it's all about. So the next time Kent starts to show up, you tell Kent to step aside. The next time try tries to manifest itself into your mind and in your heart and in your soul, you tell it to exit, exit out of my life, exit away from me. There are no vacancies for try. There's only do. And today, I do business. Every day of my life, I do business. Whether I pass, whether I fail, can't and try will not control my life. And it shouldn't control yours. So keep it moving. Be productive. Be powerful. And from the bottom of my heart, stop trying and let can't Go about his business and you conduct your business. Shame on you if you don't have enough strength within your mindset and in your heart and in your soul to know that most success stories always have a humble beginning. You're not supposed to start at the top. You got to grow it for the rest of the world to know it. We seem to be so concerned and afraid of falling down. Sometimes it seems that gravity is just pulling us down. It seems that nothing good is happening in our lives. We are afraid to fall down. Why? Why is this happening? Why am I in this dark place? Why do I feel so lost? Why are things constantly hurting me? What do I do? You got to believe in it and continue to lift it up. You must understand that it is a necessary opportunity for you to find out exactly what you are ultimately made of. It is not going to be an easy day. In fact, it may not necessarily be an easy life. But you have a life. And with this life, failure will come. But you gotta believe in it. You got to trust in it. You got to stand on it. You got to stay away from the things that's not building you up and feed your ideas, feed your dreams because they're starving right now. You must be stronger than your excuses. You must be stronger than your circumstances. You must be stronger than your fears. You need a little bit of faith and understanding that you can go further in your life. Maybe everybody doesn't love you. Maybe there are many people that don't like you. Maybe people just don't believe in what you believe in. But what do you believe in? You trusted more and doubt you trusted more in people rejecting you. Not believing that you had a unique purpose. You had something special that just has not been awakened yet. You thought that every time someone looked down on you, you didn't have the ability to look up. 
You didn't have the ability to trust in yourself. You thought that people had more faith in your failures than your success. And no matter how hard you work at your craft, they will still find some fault in you. It must happen this way because this is the only way you're gonna know what you must do to get better at whatever it is that you are seeking in your life. No one said it was gonna be easy. In fact, nobody's really gonna hold your hand. But you got to have the ability to hold yourself up. You have to have enough faith within yourself to understand that no matter how far you go in your life, that it's your life. You believe in the answers that they had for you instead of answering your own question. Am I good enough? Can I be the best of myself? The time has come for you to understand that you cannot depend on the opinions of others. You cannot just trust in the opinions of others. You cannot allow other people to validate you. Because you are just who you are. Nobody is going to be like you. Nobody can be as strong as you. Nobody can walk the walk like you. That's what makes you different. That's what makes you unique. So prove them wrong. But prove yourself to be right. Right in your decisions. Right in your mistakes. Right in your failures. You are going to have to go through all of these unique things until you actually find your truth. They say that the truth will set you free. Then free yourself from doubt. Free yourself from the doubters. And accept the fact there's more to you than what you could ever imagine. Don't hold yourself back. Don't cry over everything. Don't be angry. Have a peace of mind in knowing that I just gotta work a little bit better. That I have to give myself a little bit more credit instead of pushing myself down to the ground, burying myself because everyone else said that I'm not worthy. My friend, you are worthy. You have uniqueness. You have something that the world has yet to see. Don't accept defeat. Don't accept excuses. Don't accept the fact that you think that you don't have what it takes when you know deep inside yourself you have it. But you got to have the faith in yourself. You got to believe and you got to stand on it. And you got to know that you can do this. So let them hate on you. Just remember, the hate that you feel that you are getting, these are the same ones that admire you more. Don't let the naysayers tell you it's okay to quit. Don't let the naysayers tell you that you're done. Don't let the naysayers say that you're not the person or the right fit to carry the torch. I will tell you this. My journey in my life, I was that person. I was that individual that believed what everyone else told me that I could not do. Now I'm not telling you to be like me. I'm telling you to be yourself. I'm telling you to evolve into something greater. Yes, I was that person. I was that individual that cried at night. 
that was angry, that was afraid. I was so down on myself. I didn't believe I can be where I am today. When you said I couldn't do it, I showed you that it could be done. But before I showed you, I had to show it to myself. So today, ladies and gentlemen, you must celebrate your victories, your setbacks, your failures, and to anyone and everyone that doubted you, prove them wrong and stand tall. Be about your business. Be productive in your life. Never quit. Understand that you matter. You have to be responsible for your life and your efforts. You have to be willing to work due diligently. You have to be willing to push forward. You have to prove them wrong and show the righteousness within yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, I can promise you this. We will never really truly understand success without a little bit of hardship. How much are we gonna give of ourselves? How much are we gonna understand that without these sacrifices, without these setbacks, we can never really truly understand the uniqueness within ourselves. Why in the world do you feel someone owes you something? Nobody owes you anything. In fact, you don't deserve anything except respect. Keep it moving and conduct your business. You feel so lost. You feel alone. You feel ashamed. You're concerned about what people are thinking about you right now. You feel that you have no way out. You feel that you can't go on. This idea that you have of yourself makes you feel that you're not alive anymore. It's like walking the earth with no sense of knowing your truth. The mistakes that you've made in your life, you feel that you can't come back from it. But I'm here to let you know, it's just not your time yet to get to the best level in your life. It's not your time yet to have that success story. Who says that you can't struggle a little bit? Who says that you can't stumble? Do you realize your best stories are the ones that you triumph from? Do you realize that the time that you're falling down and having the ability to get up is the best time to celebrate? Because that's when you know there is something good about you. There's something special about you. There's something unique about you. I'm going to lose some battles, but I'm not done. I'm going to get pushed back a few times, but I'm not done. This is an opportunity for me to get stronger, to get better, to recognize that I do have work to do because I am a work in progress and as long as I'm living I'm progressing in this world as long as you're living you are progressing in this world so struggle as much as you need to but keep working through your struggles don't have regrets because the regrets are only going to make you feel less of who you are. We are not meant to always have a good day. But this is a day to celebrate breathing, to celebrate life, 
to celebrate another day, to carry on the good fight. And that's what we're doing, ladies and gentlemen. We are fighting every day of our lives. So don't feel that you have to feel regret because things are not going the way you want them to go. Sometimes what you want ain't gonna always be what you need. We have to realize that it's just not your season. And we all got a season. We all gonna live and someday Physically, we're going to leave here. But while you're alive, just keep living your life. Start understanding that these things that you are dealing with are necessary. Because we have to go through it. Sometimes those things that you're trying to build up, they can crumble right before you. Many opportunities will be given and many of them will be taken away. Sometimes being different can be very difficult. And that's when you got to dig in a little bit deeper in yourself. That's when you got to open up your eyes and open up your heart and have an open mind that you are unique, that you are special that you do make a difference, that you are touching somebody's life. So don't be ashamed. Don't have regrets. Just live. Just make life better. Get knocked down, just keep getting up again. Because if your heart is beating, you're not dead. You're alive. You're breathing. You got a little bit more fight in you. So fight, don't regret, don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed, don't be afraid. Take a chance, keep taking more chances. When other people are looking down on you, you keep looking up, but look up and look past the negativity. Because the ones that are looking down, they don't realize what you're doing to get back up. While they looking down, focusing on your failures, focusing on your misery, focusing on all of your hardships, they don't realize the fight that you have within you. That you're not gonna quit, you're not gonna give up, you're not gonna regret anything that you have been through. You're going to embrace it. You're going to suck it up. You're going to pony up and you're going to keep moving forward. You're going to keep climbing up. And if you slip again, you're going to get back up again. Because death ain't got no business in your life right now because you're still alive. Death has not showed up yet and knocked on your door and said it's over. Death ain't got no business with you right now. So stop dying inside. Stop being regretful and start being thankful. Be blessed in this life. Be blessed in your journey. Be blessed in the steps that you take. But don't give up. You got this. You need this. You must complete your task. It ain't over yet. Keep going. Keep fighting. Keep breathing. Don't quit. Work for it. Earn it every day of your life. Sometimes it's gonna get dark, but you got to find the light. The light is within you. Believe in you when no one else does. Understand that your purpose will be fulfilled. It may not be today. It may not be tomorrow. It may not be next week, but it's coming. And as long as you're alive, you gotta keep going. I want you to know, ladies and gentlemen, I love you. I believe in you. I trust in your abilities. I trust that you're gonna make it. 
But do you trust it? Do you believe it? Are you gonna stand on it? No more regrets! You're not dead yet! They have not put anything that relates to death on your books! So fight! And keep living! Stay strong! In your beliefs! Stay strong in your life! If you feel a little bit of emptiness, fill it up! You ain't got time to be having emptiness in your soul. Fill your soul up again! Fill it up! Live it up! Push forward! Be productive! Be powerful! And from the bottom of my heart, no regrets! Keep it moving and conduct your business.